I bought this RX 6, 6800 non-XT for 170 USD all in. Something's wrong with it. Let's see what it is and find out if it was worth it and what I had to do to fix it. I tossed it into one of my test bunches. It boots and everything looks fine. I'm uh, First thing I'm going to do is stress test it with uh, Furmark. It's just the one I use, the stress tester I use. Now he told me the fans were <clears throat> wouldn't go above a certain RPM. I mean, they look okay, but we will see. The first thing I'm going to do is try MSI Afterburner, see if I can ramp them up. So hold on. So it, it's working. I mean, I've been it's been running for about ten minutes on the burning test. The fan shows about fifteen percent. <laughs> I obviously have it at 100 on MSI Afterburner. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. So the fans are obviously dead. And it's really cold. Hence, it's only 50C. It would be a lot higher, I'm sure, if it was hot. And as you can see, it's getting pushed pretty good. So, so yeah. So the fans are dead, but the GPU works. Which I can, you know, I can deal with that. I can make that work. So uh, I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop this now, and then I'm going to open it up and see what I find. This thing booted up in my test bench. It booted, posted, everything looks good. Now he said the fans don't work, so I'm going to try to up the fans. And I'm at 95%, I don't know if you can see the cursor right there. And the fans are going exactly the same. So he was right, and the fans are probably dead. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to stress test this thing on on Furmark just to see how it goes. So I'm going to run this for probably, I don't know, about 15 minutes and just see how hot it gets and make sure everything goes. So I'll be right All right, so obviously there's something wrong with the fans. I'm going to pull off the fan shroud, take a look at the pins. I saw a video on Gamers Nexus about how they disassembled it. So it doesn't look too hard. I just want to see... If I can either rig up a shroud, I have some Noctua fans left over from a GPU that I bought to repair. It didn't, you know, didn't work out, so I kept them. So I can use those, or I can just go fanless and put the fans right under the case. So I'll be right back after I take this apart. Back plates off. So he definitely spray painted this. I forgot to mention that. It's green. Uh, let me see if I can get it closer towards the light. It's green. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the fans not working, but we'll find out. So the interesting part about this, the heat sink is held up by, it looks like these four screws connected together. So that's cool. So I will be able to just have the heat sink connected. Um, let's look at the fan shroud. So, I have no idea what's wrong. I'm just peeking around. I don't really see any damage. I mean, I don't think the fans were tight. I don't know if they were tight enough. They seem like it. Um, again, I, you know, I just don't know what the, you know, if they're, what, what's wrong with them. Part of me wants to try to rewire them and see if I can plug them into, like, a motherboard and push them and see why they're dead. But again, I don't really see what's wrong, so... The next step is going to be, uh, I know how this fan shroud works already, as I've, you know, stripped these before. So now I'm going to try to set up a custom fan shroud with Noctua fans, and uh, I'll be right back for that. I Reese, my box of fans, and I found these from a recent build. So I'm going to take those, take this fan splitter, and I'm going to rewire it like I did with the 1080 Ti in a previous video, which links linked down below. And I'm going to get them working on that 6800. So the idea would be the two fans should be enough because I'll put one fan there and one fan there. And I'll cover all the VRAM, heat sinks, and everything that needs to be covered, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get this rigged up. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so I, as you can see, I rigged together a, a fan splitter. From an old uh, 1060 card I had lying around or something. I don't remember what it was from. And uh, I just this is just temporary. I just want to see how it works. Um, it's pretty cool. You actually... The heat sink is, is really robust. It's probably one of the best heat sinks I've ever seen. This is the 
old fans. They had some Delta PWM fans in it. I think these two should do the trick. Um, we'll see. And I'm, you know, if I have to, I'll, you know, when I put it in the case, maybe I'll just put more or stronger PWM fans on the bottom and have them act like they're fans on the GPU. So I'm going to go test this now and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, it's running on my test bench. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's running firm mark. Everything's great. Temperatures are fantastic. Uh, so the cool thing is, because these are PWM fans, when I move, I'm going to ramp the fans up to 100, and hopefully you can hear it. And I'm going to take them down to zero. So that's great. That means I have full control, and these two fans look like they're going to be more than enough. You don't have to try it in a case with games and see how it goes. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the next step is to figure out a way to secure these. But yeah, this is uh, this is good, and you know, <laughs> this GPU is is back to working perfectly. A little uglier, but hey, man, for 170 bucks. It was well worth it.